Hello and welcome to my Blender video tutorial. In this video tutorial I will be teaching you how to create a realistic golden material. I'll show you two ways, well two versions of the gold material. Um, one that's a bit blurred over here and one that, that, um, that has no blur. Um, they're actually very basic. It's kind of a follow-up to my very first tutorial I ever made. Uh, you can go check on my YouTube channel, the first one. Uh, this is basically almost overwriting it. I will also show you how to make these golden, um, these gold bricks, uh, gold bars, and then also the coins are just basic cylinders, which I've scaled. Uh, I have scaled down and have rotated them and you know applied a different material. The ground plane, the ground is simply a plane. Um, I have a material that reflects a little, and that is what I'm going to show you. Um, so I have a starter for you. Um, you can get it in the links if you want to just jump straight on to the to the materials um but I'm gonna show you how to also model these so um let's begin I'm using Blender 2.63 I'm going to activate my screencast key so that you can see what I'm doing okay and now I'm going to N, I'm going to delete the default cube, with X, Shift A, and add in a cube. Sorry, I, it's out of habit that I delete the default cube. Um, you can keep, it's not much effort, anyways, to get it back. So, now I'll scale it along the Z a little down, and along the X, that, maybe a little more. That's good. Tab into edit mode. Go control tab to go mesh select. Change to edge. Shift right click that one and shift right click the other. Edge these two. Scale Y. Put it in the middle. Uh, maybe a little more. Now scale tab out. I'm just going to scale it in object mode down the Z. Maybe a little more. Maybe scale those a little out. Sorry, I'm being a little picky here. That's fine. Now, um, because sorry, um, the to make the edges smooth, just go Control Two, um, Control R and drag it there very close I like the sharp corners um, up very close up. ok and then on this side here So now it has a slight bevel. You can use the bevel, but I found that the subsurf looked much nicer. Okay, those are way too close now. So to edge slide it, because now if we drag it like that, it's not going to look great. Go Control E, and then edge slide, and you can drag it again like that. So like that. Control E. Edge slide all outwards, and these I don't need an edge slide. Scale X, and then it's these. Control E, edge slide. Control E, edge slide. Okay. That looks fine. Uh, set shade smooth. 
we have a gold bar. Now I'm going to well I'm going to side view because that's where the front of my gold bar is. And I'm going to shift D yeah, go sorry. Shift D to duplicate up once and drag it so it's sitting on the top one. Shift D the bottom shift D Y. Shift select the bottom, shift D Y, and then I'm just gonna select these and drag it across. And now we have eight golden bars. Now I'm just gonna drag it so that the bottom of those bars sit on the green line like that. And let's add in a plane, shall we? Um scale it quite a bit. And now I take the camera, go Press numpad 5 to get into perspective view. Get a nice view. Don't worry about positioning camera. Control Alt numpad 0 will then put the camera in the current view you are in. Okay, maybe a little lower. Maybe rotate it a little. That looks good. Okay, so maybe a little up. Now I'm going to add in coins, so that's a simple cylinder, nothing fancy. Scale down, go into side view, drag it to the top, scale it shift, sh scale shift Z, scales it on all the axes except Z, locking Z. So instead of scaling on one, it's scaling on two. And not on three. Okay, so I'm just gonna drag that down a bit. Um shift D duplicate them a few times, scatter them. I'm just gonna put one standing on top of another. So rotate and then like that. I'm just gonna Put it there, and then I'm just going to rotate it like that. That looks good. Now, whoopsie. Um, and that is basically just select all these coins, hit shade smooth, and then go add modifier, and then edge split, and then control L to share the modifiers across all the coins and now it looks like it has a very round corner but it's still 32 vertices only see so this is this so now <coughs> you can switch to cycles delete this lamp because I'm going to use a HDR I HDR image I'll put a link to a bunch of HDR images on Flickr um, so just delete the lamp, um, and I'm going to check the coins are all fine. Move that in maybe a little. There, there, that one. Maybe that one a little down. There, cross. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to save this as the starter. So let me just... Oopsie. Wireless keyboard. Um starter. What the sorry, that didn't seem to work. Where am I? Oh, I spelt my folder name wrong and now I have to go back into the right. I've already done this tutorial. Unfortunately Blender crashed on me so it didn't work. And then I'm just going to save this as final so that whenever I save in the future, it will save it to final, which I will upload these two files for you. Okay, so now that we've. So, those of you who wanted to just go from the starter, you can carry on from here. So, now I'm going to do the gold bars first. Um, actually, let's first load in a HDR. So go to the World tab. Make sure you're in Cycles. Um, click Use Nodes. Go to Color, and load in image, uh, Environment Texture. 
go open and go down to HDRI image maps. I have my own folder. Sorry. Um, it's nice getting as I like having a lot of HDR maps because it gives me a choice. But the studio.hdr is my favorite. I can't even remember where I got it. Um, and then let's see what it looks like. Sorry, it's not the fastest render. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. Um, so now we can start with our materials. So I'm going to go into camera view for all of this. I just feel comfortable in it. I'm going to select this gold bar and give it a new material. Uh, don't worry about that. That's a plugin I got. Go to the surface and change this to glossy BSDF. Change the color to a lightish. Let me show you um, the kind of color we're looking for. Uh, here are some reference images. You can see here, this these gold bars I said was going to be blurred. So like this, it looks more cartoony. Yes, um, it's always good getting reference images, by the way. So this is sharp, um, and this is. <sighs> I don't actually know. I tried to check what each of these gold types are called, like the sharp and the detailed and the blurred and all of that, but I couldn't find it. And then this is also sharp. So the coins are going to be that sharp, and these are going to be blurred. So make this color a yellowy. You can make it a very dark yellow if you want, but I made it. I like keeping it light and letting the mirrors do the rest. So I'm going to do hex color. E7 B8 3E. I'll put that in the description for you if you didn't catch it. E7 B8 3E. And then the roughness 0 0.05. Okay, now select the rest of the gold bars. Select that one. Control L, share materials. And now F12. Let's see what it looks like. looks nice um so now we're going to do the coins so that is actually basically the same select the coins i'm going to actually select the gold bar oh no don't worry don't worry select the coin give it a new material change it to glossy bsdf and make the color also somewhere around there I'll make the same hex color as this, okay? So both, so the same hex color for both of them. I'll put it in the description, okay? And then leave roughness at zero, and here it's at 0 0.05, and you'll see what it does. It looks very nice. My old tutorial, when I did this the first time, I used a mixed shader with a fuse and a glossy but then I found out about roughness and I just want to redo it and also like quality and movie quality wasn't great you may hear it I got a new microphone so I'm just making sure it sounds great and looks great okay so here it's looking nice um we have the coins they look like the chop and these which look blurred now Let's add in that plain material. It's also a glossy. And this is what's going to add in this little reflections here. So, going here, I'm going to leave it at white. Just scroll up to get that all the way to white. Then roughness, set that to about 0.4, works well. I'm just going to save. Make sure you're saving because Blender crashed on me last time. Wasn't nice. And there you can see we have nice reflections. And I don't know, it's just. I'd, I just prefer that way. It looks nice. Um, and that's basically all we were going to cover in this tutorial. Um, so. I'm going to do a render with a hundred passes. You can go to the integrator, samples 100, 
now I'll do 100 cycles I'm going to just render that pause and then I'll resume when it's done see you now now okay so it's finished rendering and as you can see it looks very nice um, you can do more passes to remove the noise over here this noise not very nice um, but overall it's quite nice gold I think please comment and tell me what you think about this and I don't want to beg you but please subscribe um, I don't like begging people to subscribe it's really I don't find it nice but yeah it would be nice if you could subscribe um, really helps me know that people are watching my tutorials and uh, thank you and I'll see you next time goodbye